we've got a way out. You can drive that thing? I'll have to. Let's go. Not yet. Ivankov mentioned the cargo zone when I tried to get information about the girl. I have to investigate. Stand guard. Without a gun? I always carry one. No. I prefer not to use it unless I have to. They could have killed us. But they didn't. You should be proud of yourself. Not mad at me. <laughs> Salut les marlous, c'est Tibet du 12, on se retrouve aujourd'hui pour cette deuxième vidéo du deuxième épisode de Blues and Bloods. Donc dans l'épisode précédent, ben, on avait... On s'était fait un peu choper, on va dire. En flagrant délit de... de... Comment est-ce qu'on dit déjà de... Pas d'identité quoi. C'est passé pour quelqu'un d'autre. Et on avait eu une petite fusillade. Bien sympathique. Et donc on avait fait prisonnier ce petit monsieur là. Ivan Ko. Et on va donc continuer. Why don't you like shooting? I did it once. I wasn't good at it. Never again. Mm -hmm. You're not going to help me? No. No? I'm not a detective. And there's too much blood in this tragedy to put it down. You want blood? I promise you, we've got oceans of it right here. And unlike the blood in your Shakespeare, this is real. Yet another reason. Hmm, this is bien glauque. Ouais. Alors, qu'est-ce qu'il y a de marqué ici ce que je peux faire hein, mais on va dire que oui en fait je sais pas du tout quoi ce qu'il faut que je fasse eh, on peut aller de chaud ok non en fait non ça sert absolument rien bon il bah, n'y a rien à voir c'est cool quelque chose là ça nous invisible My God, what is this? Mm -hmm. Bloody paw prints, made by dogs, most likely. Les chiens dans un sous-marin, puis ils ont vraiment pas honte. The boots that left these prints were fairly new, to judge by the clean outline of the sole. Blood stains trampled by the bare feet of at least four different people. Ceci est bien zarbi. En tout cas, tu viens de bien marcher dans le sang, hein, idiot. C'est bien. Looks like a scoreboard. Some of the competitors have letters and a number, but towards the end, there are others that only have a number. C'est peut-être pour le nom de, de la capsule lunaire, je sais pas. Ivankov a dit qu'il dreamt of becoming a boxer. Did his dreams come true down here? Sans doute, sans doute. There's more than blood on here. There's chunks of brain. Ugh. The leather's ripped, torn by teeth. 
Uh -huh. Serait-ce le sang de notre cher euh, italien, je sais plus comment c'est, Boccolini Non, ça ressemble un peu trop à des pattes pour que ça soit bon. Bon, par contre, si tu pouvais aller un peu plus vite, quand tu cours, ça se m'arrangerait. Il y a un pont. Il y a un mur invisible, ok. On va aller par là. J'aurais pas dû. Based on what I got out of Ivankov and these pieces of evidence, I guess he's a human trafficker. Is there evidence that proves Ivankov was trafficking in humans? Ok, donc avant tout ça, on va revenir là où j'étais tout à l'heure. Est-ce qu'il va pouvoir nous aider Non. Ok, on s'en fout. On va aller un peu plus loin. Hmm. Rien d'intéressant, ok. Non plus. Oh. Et... On monte. J'aime bien cette animation. Oh, c'est quasiment rien. C'est Sophia Capone. En tout cas, il semble que quelqu'un a payé un prix très haut. Ok, il est en train de dire Short, red-haired adolescent. Middle-aged white man. Young Negro girl. Il semble que Ivankov a payé pour certains d'eux, mais certains ont été rejetés. On fera le tableau plus tard, hein, à la fin. No doubt about it. Ivankov likes boxing. I knew it. Ha! Litton, c'est pour ça. <rire> J'ai pas le code, ça sert à rien. On va attendre. On va le ressentir un petit peu plus tard. Vodka, whisky. Clavier en quartz. Euh, machine à écrire en quartz. Alors. Guido Colombo. Mm. According to Capone, that's the name Sophia's kidnapper used to pass himself off as her uncle when he took her from the school. We owe this beautiful work of forgery to the talent of Carlo Baccarini. May he rest in peace. Ça suffit. A receipt from the most expensive children's clothes store in Santa Esperanza, issued yesterday. Kulikov, the most versatile vodka in the world. 
Mmh. Mmh. Ok, bien intéressant. J'ai fait le tour. J'ai fait le tour. Bon, on va redescendre. On pour remonter un peu plus tard. Bon, je pourrais essayer aussi le code, mais... Vu que j'ai absolument aucune idée de... Non, c'est... Hein. Hier soir. Avec le gagnant d'hier soir, donc c'était Apollo. Il me semble. Mais si on est ressemblant, c'était avec Apollo. Je redescends, non. Je sais où aller, c'est bon. ça c'est que on a rien de bien folichon à prendre pas de 1313 ça peut être euh... vite fait et puis le tableau des résultats juste là son numéro pour l'eau. Ok, mais il n'y en a que trois chiffres, c'est pas bon. 49, 7, 497. Au pire, on va essayer tout à l'heure, c'est pas grave. On prend son temps. Il manque un. J'ai paumé. Oh, ça c'est cool. Ok, bon, je l'ai pas vu. J'ai pas vu le numéro. Ah, si, là. Je pense qu'ils ont essayé de clean up l'urine stains avec un kind of powerful cleaning product, made with ammonia. Bah, c'est pas glorieux, ça. Il est invisible.
They invented these less than 20 years ago to make life easier for lumberjacks. I wonder how long it was before the mob was using them for their own ends. This is fresh blood, not more than a day old. Ils auront moins pu l'effacer. Dried blood. Been there a while. Marks left by the chainsaw, no doubt. Painted by hand in blood. Was it the prisoner's own hand and their own blood? Sickening smell, revolting stains. This was a toilet for whoever was locked up here. The diameter of these shackles is pretty conclusive. Wrists or ankles. There's still some water and the food hasn't dried out completely. This cage was occupied recently. Pas très glorieux tout ça. Enfin, bon, bref. I think it says Abdelkader, the owner of the biggest prostitution ring in Santa Esperanza. Three Ks. Holy Christ. Ok. Jesus. Ouais. Bien raison. Bon, oh, maintenant, faut que j'arrive à ouvrir ce putain de coffre. Pardon. Et tant que j'ai pas oublié quelque chose, par le coffre, bien sûr. C'est bon. Sonner, c'est bon, ça aussi. Peut-être le lavabo. Oh, vite fait, est-ce qu'on peut lui demander autre chose? So you have a sweet tooth? Yeah. That's why they called you the Sugar Kid? <sighs> All right. What do you want to know? I'm sorry about Billy Johnson. I don't know how I did it. I didn't mean to hit him so hard. Well, I did, but you catch my drift. First of all, I should have been letting him beat me. The fight was fixed. But I wasn't in the mood, and I took it out on poor Billy. A white boy who probably had no idea was rigged. You satisfied? Anything else? Oui. How did you survive on Gore Island? Alphonse. When I arrived, he was still in his prime. And he ruled the roost. He protected me until years later, I had to protect him. You satisfied? Anything else? Don't you? Why did you shoot those people? The white guy's friends follow the black guy who accidentally killed him. They're 20 at least. They start insulting him. The black guy takes it. After the insults, the spitting starts. The black guy takes it. The shovel. Black guy takes it. Kick from the back. The black guy takes it. Another and another. Black guy turns and fights back. And the mob, growing by the minute, falls on him. Someone fires a shot in the air. Everyone backs off. That someone is the dead guy's brother. He sticks a gun in the black guy's face, but the black guy's quicker. He grabs the gun, shoots him in the chest. While the crowd runs, the black guy empties the gun, not pausing to take aim. One dead, four wounded, 13 years. Reduced due to temporary insanity. There you are. Now you know who I am. So, what's the secret ingredient? The deal was that you would tell me who you are. I found it out for myself. Oh. You win, my friend. For now. You're not going to help me? No. No? Okay. Not a detective. 
And there's too much blood in this tragedy to put it down. You want blood? I promise you, we've got oceans of it right here. And unlike the blood in your Bless Shakespeare, me. this is real. Yet another reason. Ah, oh, vite fait. Tout c'est Apollo qui gagne, on est d'accord. 209. Ok, on va tenter 209. Ensuite, on fera le tableau. Un autre Bon, oh, on va faire le tableau maintenant. Alors, oh, des humains. Les cages sont labelés avec des lettres, ou des noms et des nombres. Oui, pardon, je suis con. Récentes traces de food et de drink. Shackles, the right size for wrists and ankles. A bucket that contained excrement. No doubt about it, there were people in these cages. The size of the shackles, the troughs for food and drink, and the buckets for waste prove it. Can I prove that the people held here were sold? According to Ivankov's register, not all his merchandise is accepted by the customer. Someone paid a lot of money for a piece of merchandise that could well be Sofia Capone. A scoreboard, like a knockout tournament. Human bodies, dismembered and piled up like trash. The cages are labeled with letters, there are names and numbers. The labels on the cages could refer to the customers who buy human merchandise from Ivan Khan. I base this assumption on the register, in which some of the pieces are marked as acceptable and paid for, and others are not. What does he do with the ones that are rejected? Oh, this is some Chewed and stained with blood and body tissue. Cages that likely house dogs. A scoreboard, like a knockout tournament. With all the pieces that are rejected by his customers, Ivankov organizes fights, probably to the death, between prisoners and between prisoners and dogs. Maybe even between prisoners and his own men. What is the fate of those that lose? A metal table on which bodies were mutilated recently. Human bodies, dismembered and piled up like trash. It seems clear that those that lose in combat are hacked to pieces, some of them while they're still alive. Hmm. I'd say they're then thrown into the water, but there's no proof. Hey, there's some truc là. Il me reste une partie de l'embranchement là. Pas trop, est-ce qu'il faut que j'aille Ah, ok. Je vais cru que c'était un mur qui est con. Pardon. Ah. 
giant container has been used to hold children. Was Sophia Capone held in the container? Oh, it's not so. Видим уж. Boys underwear, dirty. Doesn't look like the dress Capone said Sophia was wearing. Nah. Well, Sophia was wearing a blue dress with flowers that I personally ordered for her from Italy. Yeah, she was also wearing white ballet shoes with daisies embroidered on them. These prisoners were treated reasonably well, all things considered. Plutôt bien traité, sont quand même dans un dans un container. No adult could sleep here. What do you have to do to a child before they draw something like that? Still damp. Uh -huh. Quite the contrast with the rest of the room. I'd almost say it was cleaner than my shower at home. Par contre, niveau intimité, zéro. Ouais, bah, je crois que on a fait le tour. shoe identical to the one that Capone said his granddaughter Sophia was wearing. Children's shampoo. Someone wanted them to look perfectly presentable. Towels that are still damp. A hefty receipt for children's clothes with yesterday's date. Someone paid a lot of money for a piece of merchandise that could well be Sophia Capone. Non, c'est pas ça non plus. Bon, j'ai loupé encore un truc. C'est cool. The forgeries belonging to Sophia Capone's kidnapper. Ah, ok. A shoe identical to the one described by Capone, and the documents used by the person pretending to be Sophia's uncle make it certain that she was held here. Sophia Capone was here, but did she get out? Someone paid a lot of money for a piece of merchandise that could well be Sophia Capone. According to the register, Ivankov was paid for Sophia, which means she was handed over to his customer. Sophia Capone got out of here, but did she get out alive? A hefty receipt for children's clothes with yesterday's date. Towels that are still damp. Children's shampoo. Someone wanted them to look perfectly presentable. The damp towels, the children's shampoo, and the receipt from the children's clothes shop indicate that they washed and dressed the children before taking them away. I strongly doubt that they washed them just to kill them, so there is reason to believe that Sophia Capone is still alive. We're done here. Let's go. Already? I thought I'd have time to finish Act 4. Are you doubting my efficiency as a detective? That would depend on the quality of your conclusions. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> 
Ivan Cobb is a human trafficker. He has various customers who make specific requests. Slavers, pimps, God knows what else. Kidnaps them and puts them in these cages, shackling them and feeding them like animals until he's ready to complete the order. When he has enough, or maybe when the designated day comes around, his customer comes here and decides which of his catches are satisfactory and which are not. What does he do with the rejects? For many people, this would be a problem, but not for Ivan Kov. Like a true boxing fan, he organizes fights between the failed candidates. Bloody tournaments, possibly to the death. I'm sure his men place bets, and that the whole sick spectacle, like the Roman circus, helps keep morale high. But, as in the circus, it's not just people that fight. There are animals, too. In these cages, Ivankov kept dogs. He forces the survivors to fight them, wearing boxing gloves, until the dogs tear them apart. And if anyone survives, Ivankov's own men finish the job. This leads us to the next problem. What does Ivankov do with the bodies? Easy. He cuts them up on this table, one by one. Alive, even, if they had the bad luck not to die in the arena. And then? I don't know. Maybe he throws them overboard, but that's always risky. Maybe if we interrogate him when he wakes up, he can tell us more. But that's not what really interests us. What really interests us is what's inside, or what was inside, this container. In recent weeks, Ivankov has kidnapped nine children for an anonymous client who pays him a fortune for each one of them. The most expensive item of all has been given the initials SC, our Sophia, as proved by one of her shoes, which I found in there. Today, or possibly last night, the customer took delivery of the children and paid in full. Before this, Ivankov bought them new clothes and gave them a shower. Why would he do that? Is it to sell them into adoption and wealthy families? I very much doubt it, but I can't figure out another reason. What I do think is that his client doesn't want to leave loose ends. I think he forced him to get rid of the rest of his prisoners. This is why they organized fights yesterday dismembered the combatants, and even killed all the dogs. I see you look. Are you joking? No. Oh, man. Oh, let's take this piece of shit to Capone. What? They're old friends. I'm sure Alphonse will be happy to... Out of the question. Ah. You saw what he did to Burke. You want him to do it again? Want us to lose another witness? Christ, 20 years ago, I let a child murderer slip through my fingers. I won't let that happen again. What if the two cases are related? Not gonna persuade you, am I? No. Okay. Ah. Kisaru. Mais qu'est-ce que c'est l'eau Ouais, bah tu m'étonnes. Je viens de succès. Hein. Euh... Sacré Milton. Chercher son nom, c'est pour ça que j'ai mis un peu de temps. Bon, alors. Qu'est-ce qu'il nous réserve Wake up, Elliot. Uh, we there? No, still a ways to go. But from here we have to go on foot. Retour en 1930. 3, 2, 
ich nicht machen. Et on va s'arrêter là. Donc, bah, sur ce, bah, prenez soin de vous et surtout, surtout, faites gaffe à pas vous faire euh, avoir. Et, bah, et à pas trouver des violeurs d'enfants. Eh, hey, tchuss Pas des violeurs, des kidnappeurs d'enfants, tchuss.